Hi there! Welcome to Compass Professional Development. This video is an orientation to Compass Professional Development's Learning Management System, Moodle. This is where you will access your coursework, participate in course activities such as assignments and discussions, and interact with your instructor and peers. The goal of this video is to help you feel more comfortable navigating the Moodle site. Let's get started. By now you have received an email providing you with the link to the Moodle site as well as your username and password. Right now you are seeing the landing page where you are able to log on to view your courses. There are a few ways that you are able to log on. One in the top right hand corner of the screen and two in the bottom of the page in the middle. Once you click either one of those links, you're going to land on the login page. Enter in your username and your password. We recommend that you click the Remember Me button. Once you've entered in your username and password, click the Login button. Once on the home page, there are quite a few options. On the left, we have our navigation menu. In the middle, we have the course content that's available in Moodle. And on the right-hand side, we have a message block and our calendar. One item that will be of particular use to you initially is in the top right-hand corner of the screen. If you click the down arrow beside your name, you have access to your Moodle preferences. Let's start with the profile. Profile will allow you to view your user details such as email address, name, and profile picture. It also shows your course details, any blog entries that are available, forum posts that have been posted by your peers or your instructor, and any discussion posts. We can start by clicking the Edit Profile button. On this page, we are able to make some changes. One change that is important is your password. The password that you have received is a system-generated password that should be changed on your first login. You can change your password in the New Password block here. Here, we can also make some changes to our email address or our email display. We can allow only other course members to see your email address allow everyone to see your email address, or hide your email address from everyone. Here we are also able to add a profile picture. We can do this by clicking on the Add button, or by drop it, dragging and dropping files into this box. Once you are completed with your changes, click the Update Profile button. This brings us back to our home page of our profile. From here, we can use the left-hand navigation menu to access our courses. Click on the My Courses menu. This provides you with a drop-down of the current courses you are enrolled into. To access a course, click on the course link. Welcome to the course homepage. Here is where you are able to view all of the necessary activities relating to your class. On the left, we still have our navigation menu. In the middle of the page, we will now see the course information relating to this class. On the right, we still have our calendar, and we also have any latest announcements that have been made by your instructor, or any upcoming events that we are scheduled for, such as live lectures, discussions, and assignments. We will now navigate through the course information. Each Compass class is scheduled into blocks. The blocks identify how many weeks your class is. This particular class is two weeks long. As you can see, our first block runs from January 9th to January 15th, and our second block runs from January 16th to January 22nd. At the top of the page, you will find important information relating to your course. You will see your course ID, your course title, and the course description. Below the course description, you will find documents that are related to your class. The first is announcements. Here is where your instructor will post any important announcements to the class in this forum. Please make sure that you check the announcements forum regularly. 
If this is your first course, please feel free to post in the announcements forum to introduce yourself to your instructor and your classmates. Below the announcements, we have the rubrics. In this particular class, there are three different rubrics. We have one for written work, one for discussion topics, and one for the role play scenarios. The rubrics are important to view as they set the expectation for how you will be graded in this class. Here, we have also provided the Compass Student Handbook. This handbook outlines the philosophies of Compass, admission information, academic information such as grading policies and standard academic performance, and the standards of enrollment and privacy. Compass also outlines a policy on academic dishonesty, such as plagiarism, and we also outline some formal writing tips. Compass does not tolerate academic dishonesty, so please read the documents to familiarize yourself on how to prevent plagiarism. In each class, you will be provided with an instructor biography. Your instructors may not be the same throughout your certificate, so this is a way to know a little bit about them. Lastly, we provide a syllabus for each class. Please read the syllabus carefully as it contains important information such as weekly readings, assignments, and due dates. It is strongly recommended that you view the documents in the course information area as they set the expectations of you as a student enrolled in a Compass Professional Development Certificate Program. As stated previously, each class is split into weekly sessions. Under each week, you will see your activities that are assigned to you. In this class, we have lectures, a discussion topic, an assignment, a role play, and two live lectures during the week. To view each activity, all we have to do is just click on the link. Let's start with the discussion topic. Once we click the link, we are directed to the guidelines for the discussion topic week one. This discussion post has two parts, a primary discussion post and a secondary discussion post to one of your other classmates. To post a discussion, click on the Add New Discussion Topic button. Here, we can enter in our discussion. Once finished, we can click the Post to Forum button and that will post directly to your instructor and classmates. It is highly recommended that you write your discussion topic in a Word document first and copy and paste into the message box. This ensures that if you lose your browser or internet connection, you will not lose any work. To view the requirements of an assignment, click the assignment link. This will take you to the outline of the assignment in a PDF document. This is also where you will submit your assignment. It shows you the status of your submission, your grading status, your due date, the time remaining, and it also provides the grading criteria for the particular assignment. Once you're ready to submit your assignment, save it in a PDF or Word document and upload it to your instructor using the Add Submission button. Here you are able to choose a file or you can drag and drop your file into the file submission box. Once you have uploaded, don't forget to save your changes. Lastly, an important aspect to your courses is the live sessions or live lectures. In order to access a live session, click on the PDF under the live session file. This will download it to your computer where you can open it up in your browser. The live session is accessed by a computer link. In order to launch the live session, click on the link and it will take you to a specific session with your instructor using a software called GoToMeeting. If this is your first time using GoToMeeting, each PDF will have a test session link to ensure that your computer meets the necessary requirements. Please launch the test session before your first class. Each session has a unique access code assigned to it. Please use this access code to join the session every time. If you do not have a headset, you are also able to use your telephone by dialing the phone numbers provided. 
Another very important aspect to Moodle is your calendar. Your calendar shows what assessments are due and when. If we hover over the dates, the calendar will show us what is happening on that day. So for example, Thursday, January 12th, we have a discussion topic, primary post due. If we hover over Saturday, January 14th, we can see that we have a discussion topic one, secondary post due. The calendar is also another way that we can view the requirements of each assessment or log on to the role plays or live sessions. If we hover over the 15th of January, we can see the assignment week one. If we click on that, it takes us directly to the assignment week one, where we can view the assignment and make the submission as well. It's just another way for you to be able to view your assignments, submit your assignments, or look at anything else that is due. Now, if we hover over on to Monday, January 9th, we can see that there's a live session. If we click on this, this brings us to the information for the live session. So this is just another way that you're capable of accessing the live session through the link and viewing your access code um, or your phone numbers uh, if you do not have a headset associated with your computer. It's very important to know that Compass runs on Eastern Standard Time. All deadlines, live lectures, and live role plays are in Eastern Time. If you are in a different time zone, please submit your assignments or join the live sessions or role plays accordingly. This concludes our Moodle training video. I hope that the video has been valuable in your learning of the Moodle system. Remember, if you have any trouble, your instructor will be able to answer any questions you may have. Alternatively, the Director of Academics, Alicia Doria, will be able to answer your questions as well. Their contact information is provided in your syllabus and the orientation documents that were emailed to you. Thank you for watching.